What is up guys? So this will be my first game with Hawkeye and we're going to be taking on Ronan the Accuser on Expert Mode. So let's go ahead and get Ronan set up. So the main scheme setup, we put the Kree Command Ship Permanent Environment in play right here. So there's a permanent house icon, so we get an extra encounter card every single turn. Ronan has his universal weapon, so he has Stalwart, plus one scheme, plus one attack. We have the Power Stone, so we have plus one Thorpe, plus one attack. If a hero or villain does three or more damage to attach character with a single attack, we attach the Power Stone to the attacking hero or villain. And we also have control of the Milano, which we can exhaust to generate a wall resource. And then, let's see, that is it with that. The main scheme here starts off with two times player threat. And then Ronan has a one reviewed effect. He says to uh, search the encounter and discover path for the cut the power side right here and put it into play. So it comes in here with three threat and a crisis icon. So we can arm the threat from the main scheme while the cut the power is in play. Ronan comes in here with toughness. And then let's shuffle up the encounter deck. All right, and then let's shuffle up our player deck here. And then we're gonna draw up to our hand size and ultra ego of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I draw, oh, I drew an extra card, okay. So right here will be six. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, we got a double, which is always good to see. We don't need these right now. Um, we don't have anything else to play though. The electric arrow can stun an enemy. Oh, what is our thing? We can spend when we are inside to search your deck and discover for Hawkeye's bow and add to your hand. So we probably want that. I think we save this. What if we don't get an ally though? Uh, Sun enemy do three damage to it. Five damage saves are okay. You know what? I really need an ally. So let's go ahead and mulligan discard these four cards here and then draw four more back up to our hand size of six. Oof. Okay. We did not get any allies. So this could be really bad. Um, we got expert marksman, which is our resource generator. Uh, and then we can also. Remove threat. Uh, okay, let's use our weapon of choice as an action. Spend one resource of any type. Let's use a resource right here. Search your deck and discover for Hawkeye's bow and add it to your hand. Limit once per phase. So we're going to look through here for our bow. And we have like tons of allies, but unfortunately, I did not get any out. Where's our bow? Uh, not the quiver. Okay, that's Hawkeye's bow, so we add it to your hand with Hawkeye's effect. So Hawkeye's bow is a zero cost upgrade, and here it gets plus one attack, and each of your arrow attacks gain ranged, so we can ignore retaliate. Let's go ahead and play down our bow here as a zero cost upgrade. And then, are we going to flip? I guess we have to. We could do this. Okay, let's flip over here to hero form. And then uh, we are going to... Let's use a hero action here on the universal weapon. Take two damage, so we draw from nine down to seven. And it says, do yourself a face on encounter card, and then shuffle the universal weapon into the encounter deck. So we're gonna shuffle this into the encounter deck here. So now Ronan no longer has the uh, stalwart. Okay, next let's go ahead and use a double resource here. Um, yeah, double resource here so I can play what are we going to play? We're going to play, uh, oh wait, do we have no way to stun? I thought we had a way to stun Exhaust Hawkeye's Bow stun. Oh yeah, this one, this one. So we're going to play our Electric Bow. Exhaust Hawkeye's Bow, so we're going to exhaust our bow. Stun an enemy and do three damage to it. Ronan has Tough, so uh, he won't take any damage. It just knocks off his Tough stats card. But we can stun him now because he's no longer a stalwart because he doesn't have the universal weapon anymore. And then uh, that's going to resolve that. Next, we're going to use our hero ability here, Quick Draw. We're going to exhaust Hawkeye to write out Hawkeye's bow. And then let's exhaust the Milano here to generate one resource. So we can play our Expert Marksman, which is a one-cost upgrade. We can exhaust this card to generate a wall resource for an air event. Let's do that. And then this would be a second resource here. Uh, oh, wait, that doesn't do any threat removal. I thought this was our threat removal one. Sorry, guys, this is my first time playing him, so I have no clue what his cards are. 
uh, okay, so we're going to use mar extra marksman as a resource. This will be the second one, so we can play Sonic Arrow. Hero action, exhaust the bow, confuse an enemy, and do three damage to it. So we're going to confuse Ronin and do three damage. I'll bring it from 18 down to 15. Uh, so I thought that this would take three threat off of a scheme, so we clear off, cut the power, but it does not. Uh, so that's going to end our turn here. And we unfortunately could not clear off to cut the power, but we have Ronin Sun and Confuse, so that's one thing. Uh, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up here, and we're going to draw back up to a hand size of five in hero form. Hopefully, get in an ally. Oh man, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we got Maria Hill. Thank goodness, because uh, without her, I don't know what I was going to do. Okay, it's Ronin turn. He's going to add uh, two threats to the main scheme. It goes up to four. He's going to attack us, but he's stunned, so activation won't go through. Then he's going to deal us two face down counter cards and a counter phase because of the hazard icon here. So we have a total of three. All right, here we go. First one is a Kree Lieutenant with Guard and Stalwart. Then we got a Kree Commando here with Patrol, so we can't throw out the main scheme while he's in play. And we also got Pinsman Maneuver here, a side scheme coming with Hinder 2 plus 3. So it's going to be five threat and two accelerations. All right, uh, it's back to our turn here. All right, what do we do? Uh, just to, oh man, we have to, okay, the main scene's going to pop, right? If we do this one, stun enemy, do three damage to it. But this is our stun one. Um, we can exhaust a quiver, such a top five cards of your deck for an air event, attach this card face up. Okay, we for sure got to play Maria Hill here. Oh, we still have the power stunts. We're, we have plus one thwart right now. We have two thwart. We also have three attack. Which is pretty cool because, or we have four attack because of the power stone and the bow. So we could swing for a lot. Uh, if I use Maria and Hero Action here and get rid of that. And then, okay, so we gotta play Maria Hill first. Uh, which arrow event do we keep? Piercing or stun one? Oh, we need to stun Ronin, but there's a guard minion. So. We have no way to bypass a guard minion here. Yeah, so we cannot stun Ronin. Um, but Maria Hill can block for us. We just got to play her down somehow. Can, okay, if I play... I think I use the expert marksman here. If I play Maria Hill, I can draw a card. She can thwart... But what does the quiver here do? There's also curves, sort of top five cards for an arrow event and attach it face up to this card. Is that even useful for us right now? Um, if I get it down, I can get an arrow event. Do we have any more arrow events? I think, okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I don't even know how many arrow events we have. Is that, I, oh, we should have a thwarting one. I am like super positive that we got to have a thwarting one. So I think the quiver will get us that. So I think we Maria Hill first here, and I think I have to lose an expert marksman. Okay, that's fine. Let's use uh, two resources here so I can play Maria Hill. After Maria Hill enters play, we can uh, draw a card. We got Nick Fury. Oh man, unfortunately, I don't think I can play him here. I have to use him as a resource. Uh, yeah, let's use Nick Fury as a resource. So we can play Hawkeye's Quiver, which is a one cost upgrade. As a hero action, we can exhaust it and look at the top five uh, cards of your deck for an air event and, and attach it face up to this card. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we whiffed, we got nothing, so we don't get anything attached to it. Let's shuffle up here. Okay, that is pretty terrible. Um, so we have. Maria Hill and I thought that. Oh man, I have to clear this off here for sure. Okay, that was okay. We're gonna exhaust him along for a first player action, remove three there from the scheme, drop it down to two. Maria Hill is gonna Thor for two, clear off the pinch maneuver. She would take a consequential damage. And this is now defeated. And then we can't play this. Uh, the quiver was a bad move. I should not have played the quiver. Um, I know it's like a big card for him, but. It didn't help us out this turn. Uh, can we attach this to the quiver or no? Okay, no, we have to hold this one in our hand here. And then Hawkeye is going to swing for four because we have four attack at the, uh, let's do the Kree Lieutenant. 
All right, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up here. And we're going to draw back up to our hands of the five, keeping the vibranium arrow in our hand. Oh, there's our thwarting one. Oh, we got both of them. Okay. An explosive arrow. Sauce the bow, choose a player, do three damage to, me, to villain, each man engage with that player. Ooh, okay. That could be useful um, if we can survive a turn. Rowan Stern is going to add two to the main scheme. It goes up to six. He's going to attack us here. Maria Hill will defend. Uh, Ronan has a force interrupt. Whenever he attacks you, if we have the power stone, which we do have, he gets two boost cards. So two boost cards here. The boost effect is attached to the power stone to Ronan and the attack of overkill. So he's going to be hitting with one, two, three, four, five damage. Maria Hill takes one. Four bleeds over to Hawkeye. We drop from seven down to three. Maria Hill is defeated here. Okay. Then this guy's going to hit us for two. We drop from three down to one. This guy's going to hit us for one. I want to just die, but let's defend here for one so we don't get defeated yet. And then we get dealt two phase on counter cards with the hazard icon for the Kree command ship. First one is a Kree private with quick strike. So he's going to hit us for one. I'll branch from one down to zero. And uh, there you have it, guys. That is uh, Hawkeye against Extra Ronin. We were uh, taken out here on turn two. Um, but you know what? That was such a short game. Let's do a rematch here. I want to give Hawkeye one more shot here. I think we got really unlucky with our um, arrow events because we didn't get any allies here. And this deck is like all allies. So I think that was really, really unfortunate. Um, we also had an exhaustion here. We we're already exhausted, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? I think we need... No, I, no, I think we're good. Okay, so let's... We have the Power Stone again. Oh, no. We need... The universal weapon on Ronin. So let's we're gonna get Ronin set up here again. We're gonna try one more game, see how it goes. Get Ronin universal weapon. He is not confused. Let's clean up all the threat here. Oh, this should still be three. And the initial threat on the main scheme is gonna be two. We have Ronin universal weapon. We start off in the Ultra Ego. We have the Milano and the Power Stone. Let's shuffle up the encounter deck. All right. And let's shuffle up our player deck. And we're going to try this one more time. Okay, I think we got Ronin set up already. Oh, wait, he has a tough status card. All right, so this is attempt number two. Let's try Hawkeye again. So I'm going to draw up to my hand size of six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and we're looking for some allies. Okay, we got allies here. And doubles. Okay, so we got Kalu. We got Squirrel Girl. I like the regroup here, actually. Uh, but I want to try to get built up a little bit. Uh, Kalu can tutor an event. We need some sort of resource management. Um, I think we stay in hero form, though. So let's actually keep the regroup. Uh, and then we're going to mulligan to make the call and draw one more card back up to our hand size here of six. Got a Sonic Arrow. OK. So what are we doing here? Let's uh, use our weapon of choice. So we're going to this card, a card from her hand. Let's get rid of the sonic arrow here. And then uh, search your deck in this card pile for Hawkeye's bow. Add to your hand. So we're going to get our trusty bow back here. Add to your hand and shuffle up. Okay. Then let's go ahead and play down our bow. We're going to flip over here to hero form. We're going to use, I think I play Kalu first. Let's use a double resource here so I can play Kalu. After Kalu enters play, look at the top five cards of your deck for an event, add to your hand, and shuffle your deck. So one, two, three, four, five. So we get the Sonic Arrow or Make the Call. Uh, let's get the Make the Call, add that to our hand. Yeah, and then we'll shuffle these cards back into our deck. We're not ready for the Confuse yet, so... We just keep it in our deck for now. Okay. Then we can use this is a double resource, so we can play Squirrel Girl. After Squirrel Girl and display D1 damage to each enemy, that will knock off Ronan's tough stats card. Then we're going to use a resource right here, so we can play Regroup. It's a one cost support. When an ally is defeated by enemy attack, return to his owner's hand instead of discarding it. As a force interrupt, when the round ends, we discard this card. So when everyone attacks us here, we're going to get the allies back to our hand if they get defeated by his attack. Okay, what do we do here? 
Uh, Hawkeye's plus one Thor with the Power Stone. So let's go ahead and Thor for two. So we'll cut the power and drop this down to one. Squirrel Girl is going to Thor for one. Clear it off. She'll take a consequential damage. Side scheme is defeated. So now that the Crisis is gone, we can remove threat from the main scheme. Let's use the first layer action here. Exhaust Milano and remove three threat from the scheme. Clear it off. Then we'll have Kalu swing for one at Ronin. That will bring him from... Ooh, he should have 18 health. I should have set that back up. So it's 18 health. Kalu hits for one. That will bring him from 18 down to 17. And Aaron lost a tough task card with uh, Squirrel Girl's effect. And Kalu will take consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready it back up. All right, I feel much more defended now. Let's draw up to our hand size here of five. Okay, ooh, we got Maria Hill and we got some air events. Uh, this one, ooh, this one can't confuse him. Okay, all right, all right. So it is uh, Ronan's turn. He's going to add two threats to the main scheme. He is going to attack us here. We have the Power Stone, so he gets two boost cards. So he's dealt his boost cards, and we must decide what we do before we review the boost. Let's have a squirrel. Actually, who do I want? I want probably Kalu more. We're going to Kalu defend. And then Ronan's hit him with a base of four plus two boost cards, five, six, seven. No boost icons. That will knock Kalu out. When he's defeated with effective regroup, he comes back to my hand because he was defeated with enemy attack. And we don't discard him. Then Ronan's going to deal with two face iron con cards with the hazard icon and the Kree command ship. First one is, ooh, fanaticism. Okay. So Tasha Ronan comes in with two theory counters. And then uh, whenever he attacks you, he has overkill and piercing. At the end of attack, remove a theory counter from here. That's going to surge to get another encounter card, which is Shadow the Past. Um, before I decide if I want to cancel it, let's take a look at this. Because we could cancel Treasure with the Kree Command Ship's first uh, player interrupt. What is Hawkeye's nemesis? Ooh. Uh, that's kind of a lot to deal with. We're going to cancel it here. So we're going to use the first player interrupt on the Kree Command Ship. When Treasury is revealed, like Shadow of the Past, we're going to exhaust the Milano and spend a resource of any type. So we're going to use one resource here. Uh, let's use a resource here so we can cancel this uh, one read effect of the treasury. Okay, then we got one more encounter card, which is a gank up. The villain in each minion engage with you will attack. So Ronan's going to attack us here. Um, we still have the power stone, so he gets two boost cards. And I also forgot to set my own hit points, so I have nine health here. All right, so Squirrel Girl blocks. We're going to die. Uh, so we don't have one defense. Let's take the attacks to face. Then with the base of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So we lived. Did we live? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. So we dropped from nine down to one. We're still alive, guys, which is awesome. And then uh, it's overkill, but it doesn't matter because he attacked us, and then he takes the power stone because he dealt more than three damage to us with a single attack, and then we lose a fury counter from Fnatic in here. So only one fury counter when all the counters are gone, it goes away. All right, and it's back to our turn. Okay, so we're group. Well, uh, we play at the end of the round. Unfortunately, we cannot confuse him because he has a universal weapon, and we can't get rid of it because we don't have enough hit points for its action there. Uh, how do we survive this attack? Uh, I don't know what we do here. Let's see. Yeah, confuse does nothing for us. Let's, um, okay, we're going to use two resources here, so I can play Maria Hill. When she enters play, we can draw a card. Ooh, that'll give us one life. Still not enough. Uh, I think we just play Kalu. All right, two resources here, so I can play Kalu. When he enters play, look at the top five cards of your deck for an event. Add that event to your hand. We got Earth Smarties here, so let's add the Earth Smarties here to our hand, I think. And then we uh, shelf these cards back into our deck. All right, so he still has a Fury Counter on that fanaticism. We have to flip down here, or else we die. I won't be able to get the ready for this because it's a hero action, and we don't have the Venger Trait in Alter Ego. So do I want the ready right now? Probably doesn't matter. Let's have Maria with Thor for two. Clear off the main scheme. Should take a consequential damage. Uh, let's have Kalu swing for one at Ronin. That'll bring him from 17 to 16. Kalu takes a consequential damage. We're going to flip down and exhaust recover by three. 
That brings from one back up to four. All right, and then that's gonna end our turn. I think we discard the Earth Smite's heroes here. All right, let's ready back up and draw back up to our hands as heroes six and Ultra Eagle. So a little bit rough here. Um, okay, Ronan's turn. He's gonna add two to the main scheme. He's gonna scheme with a base of one, two, three, four, plus a boost card here of zero. Ooh, okay, we got really lucky, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, plus zero. So he's gonna add four threat to the main scheme. It goes from two up to six. Okay, so he doesn't pop it, which is huge for us. Then he uses two phase down encounter cards with the hazard icon with the Kree command ship. First one is, ooh, okay, another fanaticism. So it's the same effect as before. Two fury counters. I take three more attacks or two more attacks with the overkill. That will surge to get another encounter card. We've got a minion here with patrol, so we cannot throw from the main scheme while he's in play. And you stand accused. Ruin's gonna scheme it with plus one scheme. Um, we've got to cancel it. Yeah, let's cancel it with the first venture up with the Kree command ship. Exhaust Milano, spend a resource of any type. Uh, I think we gotta throw away the Mighty Avengers. There's no way we can put it down. So Mighty Avengers here goes away, and we can cancel the the scheme activation with this encounter card. All right, so it's back to our turn. We got to recover by three. So we're gonna take overkill attack. That'll bring us from four up to seven. So we get a little bit of life here. And then, oh, the patrol is not cool. It's not cool. We, uh, I think we play white tiger. Okay. Kalu's going to swing for one at the Kree Commando. He'll take a consequence damage, get knocked out. Then we're going to use this as three resources when paying for... Let's see, actually, yeah. This will be three resources when paying for a leadership card because the power leadership is a double. So we can play White Tiger. When you play from your hand, we can draw X cards, X equal to the villain stage number. So we can draw two cards because we're on stage two. Okay. Uh, we... Flip over. We can earth Earth's mightiest hero with ourselves, right? Squirrel Girl swings for one. Uh let's see. If I play Blade, we can Earth's mightiest heroes him so that Hawkeye can attack. So it'd be we need if Squirrel Girl swings for one. Uh, we do three. Oh, so we have white tiger attack. Oh man, that's not efficient because I read how squirrel girl thwart, but we can't thwart past patrol right now. Um, hmm. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three. We have plus one attack. Okay, that's that's fine. We just gotta do that. Squirrel girl is gonna swing for one at Ronin because the Kree commander does not have guards. So when you hit Ronin, that'll bring him from sixteen down to fifteen. Because our ally limit is only uh, three, so we have to get rid of her. So we can play another ally. Uh, let's flip over here to hero form. And then we're going to use a resource here. And I'll save that. Resource here, so we can play Blade, I think. No, wait, do we need this for next turn? We may need this for next turn. Um, okay, I got to get Blade down. First minus heroes him. And then do I say the regroup or the Avengers Tower, guys? Let's check our discard pal. I think we just say the regroup. Yeah, that's fine. We might draw the other one, but it's okay. So resource here, so we can play blade. Then we can play Earth's minus heroes. Exhaust an Avenger character you control, blade and Avenger to rip another Avenger. Let's write up Hawkeye. Hawkeye has plus one attack with the bow, so we're gonna swing for a three on the Kree Commando. Then White Tiger is going to swing for two, knock him out. White Tiger takes consequence of damage, so now the patrol is gone. So Maria Hill can throw for two from the main scheme, drop it down to four. She'll take a consequence of damage and get knocked out here. All right, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. You know what? Let's ditch the regroup. I feel like I'm going to draw the other one. So we can discard it, draw back up to five here. Okay, uh, so Ronan's turn is going to add two to the main, goes up to six. 
He's going to attack us. He, is, he gets one boost card because he has the Power Stone. Blade will defend this as Overkill and Piercing. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. Blade has 3 life, plus 1. So 8 total damage. 3 goes on Blade, 5 bleeds over to Hawkeye. So we drop from 7 down to 2. And then Blade is knocked out. And then we remove a Fury Counter from each one of the Panacisms here. Okay, and then we get two phase down encounter cards. First one is Superior Tactics. The Power Stone cannot be unattached from Ronin. It comes in with two threat and then plus one if Ronin already has a Power Stone, so it's going to be three. And then we also got Creed Common Armor attached Ronin. Reduce each instance from damage that he takes from attack by one. Okay, uh, back to our turn. Oh, and this Vanessa is now gone, so we just got one more left. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So, what can we do here? Wonder Man can thwart. Oh, we, we had to clear off the main scheme. He's going to scheme. Oh, he's going to pop that. Yeah, I know what to confuse him or anything. I think it's fine. I think we still... Or do I just let him scheme it out here and try to get set up a little bit? If I play Avengers Mansion and draw a card, okay, we're gonna, man, if the boost here of this encounter card is zero, then I should have thought out the main scheme. But if it's not, then I shouldn't have thought it out. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna take a risk. I think that's the only way that we win is if we get lucky with that main scheme. So let's go ahead and uh, use the first way action here, Exhaust Milanum, to remove three threat from the scheme. We're going to drop this from six down to three. Okay. Then let's use a double resource here so I can play Wonder Man. This would be two resources so I can play Rapid Response. Wonder Man and uh, White Tiger will both door for one, two, three. Clear this off. White Tiger is knocked out with Consequential. Wonder Man takes one damage. We're going to flip back down to Altar and Exhaust your card by three again. That brings him two up to five. All right, that's going to turn. Let's ready back up. Draw back up to our hand size here of six. Uh, okay, oh, we got Nick Fury. All right, Ronan's turn is going to add two to the main scheme. He's going to scheme here with a base of one, two, three, four. Boost card is, oh my goodness, okay. If the tag gets plus three boost icons, it's not attack, so that's zero boost icon. So if he schemes for four here again, which puts this at six, so we are still alive. Okay, that is pretty crazy. Um, there's one Fury counter left on Fnazza, so we just got survived that. We could dealt two face down encounter cards here because of the hazard icon. First one is, oh man, you stand accused. We have to cancel it with the first one interrupt. Exhaust Milano. Spend a resource. Let's use this here as a resource. So we cancel it. Hopefully it's not scheme again right here. Okay, we've got a Kree Commando with Guard and Stalwart. Okay, so it's back to our turn. All right, all right, all right. Can we do something? If I play Nick, I lose everything. I want to rapid response him, which would give us big draws. But now we don't have the resource anymore because of the Milan being exhausted, and we lost the Explosive Arrow. I think I just got to go for the Quiver here. And then get the expert marksman. Uh, oh, we have to exhaust. Let's exhaust recovered by three. So we go from five back up to eight here. Can we knock out the Kree Lieutenant? So for one man to attack, we have to discard one card from our hand. That's fine. Uh Man, I don't want to play the Quiver and then whiff on it again. How many cards we got left in our deck? We have seven cards left in our deck. I don't even know how many arrow events I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I, you know, I feel like we got to have an arrow event in there. Um, Vibram Arrow is the damage dealing one, right? We don't have that one anymore. You know what? The Quiver really messed me up. Okay, we're going to play Nick Fury. I just feel like the Quiver is going to mess me up. We're going to use four resources here. This might be a bad play, so we can play Nick Fury. Whenever he enters play, choose one. We're going to pick the one to draw three cards. 
So one, two, three. Okay, so we did have error events. We can do three damage to this guy, doesn't matter. We could also get down our regroup. Uh, but we probably just got a thwart. So I can hold on to the electric arrow, I think. Let's flip over here to hero form. We can, a water man can attack, that's what we can do. Okay, Nick's gonna thwart for two from the main. Let's drop this down. We gotta keep it on the first main scheme. Nick takes a consequential damage. We're going to use a resource here to play our cable arrow. Exhaust Hawkeye's bow, remove three there from a scheme, ignoring any Christ icons. So let's take three off of the main. Okay, then one remains gonna swing for three at the Kree Lieutenant here. And then as additional cost range attack, we must uh, discard cover hand. Let's discard the electric arrow, and then one remain takes a consequential damage. Okay, uh, that's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up here. Right? Yeah, we're gonna draw back up to five, which decks us out. So we could dealt a phase on counter card. Oh, we got Mockingbird. She would have been huge. Uh, we're shuffle our discard pile back into deck. Because I believe that she can prevent um, all damage from an attack. That would have saved us with the fanaticism, unfortunately. Uh, that's okay. So we're going to shuffle up here. And we're going to draw one more card back up to our hand size of five. We can have Nick here recur himself for a huge turn. Okay. So Ronan's turn is going to add two to the main scheme. It goes up to three. He is going to attack us here. He gets one boost card because he has the power stone. He has overkill on this attack, but we're still going to have Nick for your defend. So this would be the boost. A zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six damage with overkill. Nick takes two with two life, and then we take four. That will bring us from eight down to four. And then uh, we remove the last fear count from Nationalism after rolling an attacks, and it gets this card. So there's no more overkill now with that. But we still could get uh, the, uh, the little... Uh, Cree, uh, the Cree Private, which has uh, Overkill if he gets it as a boost. Okay, Nick Fury is knocked out. We're going to trigger our Rapid Response. When it, uh, you control it defeated, we can discard this card, put the ally back into play, and deal one damage to it. Nick Fury has enter play effect. When it enters play, choose one. We're going to pick the one to... We could actually knock out the Cree Lieutenant here. Uh, but I think I really want that card draw to try to get going a little bit. Yeah, we're going to draw three here with Nick's effect. So one, two, three. Okay, we got a cable arrow. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, then the Kree Lieutenant's going to hit us for one. We could have Nick blocked, but I feel like Ronan's going to attack us again. So let's take the attack to the face. So we draw four down to three. Then we get dealt two face on counter cards with the Kree Command Ship's hazard icon. So we have total three here. First one is a Kree Commando with Patrol. We got an advance, so Ronan's going to scheme. We have to cancel with the hazard icon, uh, with the first player interrupt. So exhaust some alarm, spend a resource of any type. Let's spend... I think we don't need the cable arrow, right? Three threat removal. Uh, what are we going to play? Electric arrow stuns an enemy. Mockingbird is three. Oh, we play the explosive arrow for sure. So I think we actually spend uh, this as a resource with the first one interrupt to cancel the advance. So he won't scheme. Then we got Hole Breach. Choose one. We need to take three damage, but that will kill us. Exhaust him along which we can't, or spend two mentals. Okay, so we got to spend everything that Nick gave us. So we're going to, I think we spend this here as two mental resources. I don't want to use the wilds here. Is the quiver worth it, guys? I don't, I don't know if the quiver is worth it. Maybe we should just get rid of the quiver here. We're not going to be regrouping. Okay, let's spend these two mental resources here for the whole breach. All right, and then uh, at the end of round, Nick Fury's in play. He gets discarded, so I should have just had him block the Kree Lieutenant's attack. We didn't get another attack activation, unfortunately. Um, okay, so it's back to our turn. We have five cards in our hand here. I would prefer more than that. Okay, so if I use the Quiver to play the Expert Marksman, I can get down an Explosive Arrow. I can do three damage to all these guys. Hawkeye can take this guy out. Waterman can take this guy out. Okay, that's not really good. Um, 
if we do this for Mockingbird. That's not good either. We have to use Mockingbird. I can't I can't keep her here. Uh, so we have to explosive arrow for sure. And then we can Oh man, this is terrible. If I play okay, what if I just played the quiver then? If we do all of this with the explosive arrow. Uh, man, I do not like the quiver at all. The quiver is not a good card. Um, Mockingbird cannot be used. So we're going to use it as a resource to play Hawkeye's Quiver. Let's exhaust it to look at the top five cards of deck for air event. Come on. One, two, three. Okay, good. We got a close arrow. So we have five cards here. We're going to attach one of them underneath the Quiver here, face down. Uh, I think we get the explosive arrow here. Yeah, so we're going to attach this or face up underneath the Quiver. And then we, uh, we shuffle up these cards. Okay, that hopefully can save us. So we shove these cards back into our deck. And then if I play an explosive arrow, so I want to play this one, I think. I wish I had one more resource, though. It could be for one minute to attack, but I need him to block for me because if not, I don't have overkill and ruins attacks. So we do 3-3. Three, three. We swing for 3. Uh, oof, it's not good either way. I should have had... No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to um, use a resource here to play Expert Marksman. So I end up not using the Quiver anyways. Darn. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Actually, if I don't play the Expert Marksman, I can play both arrows. And then we can or something we have another extra marksman i think we have to do that i gotta get rid of these minions here we won't take uh okay all right so we can play air events underneath this card as it was in our hand so we can play this explosive hero here like it's in our hand for one cost so we need a resource right here exhaust hawkeye's bow and choose a player and choose ourselves do you three damage to the villain and you should engage with that player this is not an attack so it's going to bypass um, the uh, the power stone's effect, so we don't take the power stone on him. But actually, this says reduce the amount of damage Ronan takes from each attack by one. So he's only going to take... Wait, no. Yeah, it's not an attack. So he takes three damage there. But it's not an attack, so we don't get the power stone. So Ronan drops from 15 down to 12, and it bypasses the guard from the Kree Lieutenant, and three on each minion. Okay. Then we're going to exhaust Hawkeye for quick draw to ready up his bow. And then we're going to use a resource here to play another explosive arrow. Same thing, three damage to each enemy. Ronin drops from 12 down to nine. And then three to both the minions will knock them both out. All right. And then we're going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Wonder Man's gonna block an attack for us with this one hit point. Hopefully he doesn't get overkill there. We'll draw back up here to five. I like to make the call here. Uh, let's see what happens. Ronin's gonna add two to the main scheme. It goes up to five. He's going to attack us. He gets a face down boost card. Wonder Man blocks. Zero. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five damage. Knocks out Wonder Man. Then he's going to get two face down encounter cards that he's going to do to us. All right. First one here is Criminal Past. You may flip to off Eagle. Let's do it. Exhaust Clint Barton to remove this card from the game. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Okay. And then last encounter card is a Kree Commando again with Patrol. Okay, unfortunately, we're exhausted, so we can't recover, even though I really want to recover. Uh, okay, so we have the Milano here, which is really nice, but I think I have to use it for this thing. Oh, I forgot. We can't take the Power Stone anyways, because Ronan has superior tactics. So while this is in play, we can remove the Power Stone from him anyway, so it, it didn't matter. Um, we for sure got to make the call. Mariho's not in here, though, right? Huh, okay. We couldn't make the call, Nick... Fury. One, two, three, four. No, I need to get down the expert marksman. That's my last copy there. I wish I had a double. So who do I make the call here? Uh, I could get Mockingbird. Oh man, these ally selections are not good. If I do Nick Fury. Hmm. 
I think we gotta do Nick Fury. We're gonna take damage from the Kree Commando. We don't have doubles, is the thing. If I spend Milano, spend these as resources to play Nick, to draw some cards. I can hopefully get something with a quiver as well. Yeah, okay, we're gonna play and make the call. Pay the printed cost of an ally in any player's discard pile. Let's get Nick Fury here. So he's four cost. I think it's better than Mockingbird here. So four cost. The Milano can generate one resource. This will be three more. So we can get Nick into play. All right, when Nick Fury enters the play, choose only pick the one and draw three. One, two, three. Ooh, doubles. I wish we had them earlier. Um, okay. Then we flip over here to hero form. We're going to exhaust the quiver. Look at the top five cards of your deck for an arrow event. Okay, we got a carry arrow, and we can put it underneath the thing. All right, and then we shuffle these cards back into our deck. Okay. So, hmm. We could do three damage to Kree Commando, which does not kill him. So that means I think we just get rid of the combat armor and then play this, and we can cable arrow. Oh, man, okay. We use the hero action. Yeah, he's not stunned. Oh wait, we, we could stun him. Okay, never mind. We keep the Creed Common Armor then. So I play extra marksman. Then I can play. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This would be a resource here. It's double resource, so I can play extra marksman. Oh, we're gonna waste two doubles here. Uh, there's nothing we can do because I'd, I'd rather get the stun off. Okay, so we're gonna use two resources here to play Electric Arrow, Exhaust Hawkeye's Bow. Stun an enemy. We're gonna send the Kree Commando, and then uh, do three damage to him. All right, and then we cannot play the Cable Arrow underneath the Quiver because uh, we're exhausted, and so is the Bull. So Nick's gonna throw for two from the main. Let's drop this down to three. He'll take a consequential damage. That will end our turn. Let's ready back up. I wish I had a regroup here. Okay, we're gonna draw back up to five here, but we finally got set up a little bit by getting one expert marksman in play. So that's pretty nice. Oh, we have regroup with Kalu. Okay, Ronan's turn. He's going to add two to the main. It goes up to five. He's going to attack us. Nick blocks. This will be the boost card. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Knocks out Nick Fury. The Kree commander is going to hit us here, but he is stunned. Then we get dealt two phase down encounter cards. First one, encounter guard. Discard an upgrade or support you control. Oh, man. Uh, do I... Do I lose the extra marksman that I just played? Um, the quiver has a cable arrow. We have a sonic arrow, which could confuse Ronin. Um, it's confusing. We can flip down. This guy only schemes for one. Darn! I want to keep the quiver and the cable arrow here. Uh. Cannot get rid of the bow because I can't play my arrow events in hero form if I get rid of the bow. What are we losing here? Oh, I wish I could play like Triskelion with an honorary Avenger. Whether this card, the quiver the bow here with the caught off guard. Which one, guys? It's going to remove three threat from his scheme because we have a cable arrow underneath it. All right, we lose the expert marksman. I think that we have to here. Uh, Yeah, we have to. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're not set up anymore. Last in Conqueror's Prince Maneuver. Side scheme with Hinder 2 plus 3 and 2 accelerations, so it's going to have 5 threat. All right, it's back to our turn. Uh, okay. So. Hmm. I want to try get the Confuse off here. But the way that looks now, I think we just stay in Hero form. Do we have, we don't have the Thor removal for the Prince Maneuver. Okay, let's exhaust our Quiver. Oh, we have Cable Arrow. Okay, we're going to exhaust the Quiver. Look at the top five cards of our deck for an Arrow event. Hopefully we don't whiff. Okay, we whiffed again, so we get nothing there. Yeah, the Quiver is like the worst card ever. Um, and we can't even add extra Arrow events, right? Because there's no Aspect cards that are that. So it's only Hawkeyes. Um, identity specific cards. Okay, so that whiffed. I have to play the Cable Arrow here and use Milano to get rid of that. Kalu can Thor for one. 
from here. So I think we just use a sonic arrow. Okay. Two resources here, so I can play Kalu. When we're here to display, look at the top five cards of your deck for any event and add to your hand. We really need a resource. Okay, we gotta make the call. Alright, so we add the make the call to our hand because that's the only event. We shove these cards back into our deck. Okay. Um, we gotta make the call. I think there's still no Maria Hill though in the discard pile, right? So there's no point. Uh, we should be drawing her soon though. Okay, so I want to play a regroup. I think we do this. I can play on rare on Hawkeye, so we get plus one life, which is pretty nice. Then, uh, KO arrow costs a resource. So we double with Thor from there. Ooh, yeah, I cannot regroup, unfortunately. Okay. So do I just go for and make the call here and play a two cost ally? Like, Wonder Man? I could, if I use him a lot, I can play Mockingbird. I think I just play Wonder Man, Thor, Thor, Thor. Oh, we're short one resource. If I had my expert marksman, I could play the cable arrow here. Okay, let me let me think this through. If I play the cable arrow, that's a resource. I have exhaust melons and a resource. Hawkeye can just swing, take out the Kree commando now. Kalut Thor's for one from there. Wait a minute, that works. Well, why did I not think of that? I don't know what's going on. And then we can play the regroup still. Okay, so let's do the first word action here. Exhaust Milano. Remove three there from the scheme. Drop it down to two. We're going to play the KO arrow underneath the quiver as if it was in our hand. It costs one resource right here, so I can play it. We're going to exhaust Hawkeye's bow. Remove three there from a scheme. Let's clear off defense maneuver. So that's gone. Hawkeye has plus one attack here with our bow, so we're going to swing for three. Knock out the Kree commando. So the patrol is gone. Then Kalu can throw for one from the main. We drop it down to four. It'll take a consequential damage. And then we're going to use a resource here to play regroup. So we have the support in play. Whenever an ally is defeated by an enemy type, we turn it back to our hand. Let's get in our turn. Let's ready back up. We are surviving here. Draw back up to five. I don't think I've seen the Cree uh, privates though, so I'm pretty scared about that. But uh, we're getting a little bit set up here. Our right, Ronin's turn is going to add two to the main. It goes up to six. He is going to attack us. Kalu blocks. This will be the boost. Attach a power stone. Ron here has a power stone. So it's one, two, three, four, five damage. Knocks out Kalu. He comes back to our hand with regroup's effect. We get dealt two face down encounter cards. First one's a Kree private with quick strike. So he's going to hit us for one. That brings from three down to two. And we also got, ooh, under fire. We're, uh, we're reviewed. Review the top card in the counter and it's going to surge. So the top card is special delivery. You may exhaust Milano if you don't villain attacks you. Let's exhaust Milano. And the surge from the under fire is going to be master plan. Ooh, okay. Place four threat on each side scheme. So superior tactic goes from three up to seven. And that is fine. Okay. So we are somehow staying alive. Our group will go into this card pile now. All right. We are last in here. Okay. What do I do? Okay. Let's use a stupid quiver. Exhausted. Look at the top five cards of our deck for an error event. And we whipped again. Okay, so nothing there. Shuffle it back up. Uh, yeah, I do not like Hawkeye, guys. He is uh, not a fun hero. Okay, so Quiver whiffed. I am down to life, so I cannot get rid of the universal weapon by taking two damage. So I cannot plan a confusing run in here and flipping down. So we just spend the rest of this turn uh, or the rest of this game in hero form, unfortunately. Now, I could take out Decree Private. Uh, I think we play Kalu first. So let's use for sure this. And then Squirrel will help us. Or is Blade better here? Um, Earth Mighty's Heroes could be really good. It's just, what can Kalu grab us? You know what? I'm not going to rely on that anymore because I think that rely on that is causing me to uh, get destroyed here. If I play this, play Squirrel Girl. No, then there's no regroup. 
I, I need to play regroup too, I think. God, we got to play Kalu. Okay, so two resources here so I can play Kalu. Let's just play look at top five cards of deck for an event. Please give me an event. Okay, we got Earth Mice here, so we can add it to our hand with Kalu's effect. Shuffle up the deck here. Okay, uh, I just realized we don't have enough boarding. Okay, uh, we play Blade. Then we can Earth Mice Hero Hawkeye twice. And we, we just have an authority. Okay, uh, so resource here, so I can play Blade. Hawkeye is going to swing for three at the Cree Private. And then we're going to play Earth Mind Heroes, Exhaust and Avenger Control to rev another one. We're ready up Hawkeye. And Hawkeye's going to swing for three again, knock out the Cree Private. Kalu's going to Thor for one from the main scheme. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. We, we can't ready. Okay, just kidding, just kidding. We're not going to swing for three of the Kree Private. We're going to keep him alive here. Kalu and Hawkeye are both going to Thor for one, two to clear off the main scheme a little bit. If the main scheme pops, I think we lose because we cannot remove threat from it. Uh, yeah, or uh, because on, on main scheme stage two, if Ronan has a power stone, we cannot remove threat from the scheme. And we cannot get rid of the power stone from Ronan unless we give her superior tactics. So uh, that's just too much threat removal. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready up here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take a dance from the Kree Private. All right, we're going to draw up to our hand sets here of five. And I think we keep the Earth Smiles Heroes. So let's draw. Uh, still no Maria Hill, but we can draw her with White Tiger. All right, Ronan's turn is going to add two to the main again. So it stays at six still. We're getting really lucky with that. He's going to attack us. Kalu will block. This will be the boost. Okay, that's death. So Cree Private as a boost card says this attack has overkill. So it's gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six with overkill. So Kalu takes one, he's defeated, and a five damage boots over to Hawkeye. We drop from two down to zero. All right, well, I Ronan ended our misery there. Um yeah, uh, that was that was a crazy game. Um let me see. Okay, if if we survive this turn, what could we have done, right? So let's say he didn't get overkill there. The Kree Private hits us for one. We have one life left. We get two phase down and counter cards, which is, ooh, yeah, yeah. So Rogue Vessel would have killed us. So it surged, and it says when the villain phase ends, we do one damage to each player. So we would have taken the damage and lost there. So there's nothing we could have done anyway. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my first uh, plays with Hawkeye here. He is, um, yeah, just not my favorite hero. Uh, I, I don't like the Quiver at all. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next one.